Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to give you an overview of Expeditions Pro, which is the virtual reality app that many of us have been waiting for as an alternative to Google Expeditions. Let's go ahead and take a look at it. You'll find it at expeditionspro.com. And the first thing I want to point out is that you can create your own virtual reality tours to use in the app, but that process is a topic for a future video. Today, we want to focus on using the Android app and the iOS app. I have it installed both on my iPad and on my Android device right here, which is what I'm going to bring up on my screen so you can take a look at it right here. So here's my phone screen and you can see I'm already signed in and I can browse through any of the tours that I like. And once I find one, I can just tap on it. Let's say Angel Falls. And then I can download it to view or guide and you can view it with or without a Google Cardboard viewer. You can use it with or without a virtual reality viewer. Now, I already have a couple in my library that I've downloaded in advance of doing this video. And let's look, take a look at Paris, France. And let's just view the tour right here without using a virtual reality headset. So let's view the tour. And you can see here, I can now pan and zoom through just by using my finger on my phone. I can also do the same thing by moving around. And down below here, we'll see there's some additional information. And I can play the audio if I want to, or pause it and stop playing that audio. Now, the other option here, I'm gonna close out of that, is the option to guide people on this tour. And that's a great option for leading your students on a virtual reality tour right here. So I'm going to show you on the left-hand side here, my teacher screen, and on the right-hand side, we're going to see the student screen. So on the right-hand side, I have the iPad version of Expeditions Pro open, and we're going to use the class function. And right now, the class function has follow, and it's looking for leaders. Well, right now, there's nobody leading. So I'm going to go here as the teacher on the left-hand side, tap on class, and I'm going to lead my class. And you're going to see here, we have to make sure we're on the same Wi-Fi network. And I'm going to go ahead and lead my class on this tour. I'm going to view the tour. And now my class has this class to join. And they're now in that tour. And they can pan and zoom and move around in the tour just like I can. And one of the neat things here that you can do as a teacher is you can bring this up and you'll see up at the top that I have one person in the tour with me, but I can pause it. And so I can pause the tour so that my students can take a break or that I can more fully explain something to them. Then I can resume the tour and they're back in and looking around. Now, if I pause it again, you'll see that same thing happen one more time. Now, as the instructor here, I might want to jump to play that Gothic architecture piece. And we'll see on the right-hand side, the students are going to be directed to go and look in a specific direction to see what that little audio file is all about. And then when I'm done, I can simply close that out and I can disconnect from the class and they can also 
disconnect from the class as well. And they'll see searching for leaders once again. So that's a short overview of Expeditions Pro, which is a great alternative to Google Expeditions that was shut down last year. As always, for more things like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com or subscribe to my YouTube channel.